All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Resident Evil Village, episode... S I don't even know what episode this is now, but welcome back regardless. Um, I've completely lost track of what episode we're on, but we're, we're starting back off exactly where we left off uh, from the last episode. If you didn't see the last episode, click the annotation link on the top right-hand corner of your screen if you're on PC or mobile. If you're not, then uh, there is also a link down in the description to where you can go and click it from there if you don't see the annotation link. Um, but... Basically where we left off, just as a quick recap for the last few episodes. Um, let's see. We killed Heisenberg. No, we didn't. Shut up. We didn't kill Heisenberg. Heisenberg almost tried to kill us by pushing us down into a hole. We met Heisenberg. That's what we did. We met Heisenberg. And um, he's that. He's actually a really cool character. So far, he's like my favorite character out of all the characters. Dimitrescu was alright, um, but like... Heisenberg is really cool. So we're in his factory right now, and we've been searching around. We need a key for this horse, this horse door, uh, to get into that chest, which is going to have some some kind of something in there. Um, let me loot this. I think I did this in the last episode, but I guess it locked again. Nice. Nice little magnum ammo. Um, speaking of which, we're actually running quite low on... A good bit of ammo for different things. We have six pipe bombs, though, and a lot of explosives, man. Jesus. Um, but yeah, so, basically what our goal is right now is I I actually don't know. I don't know what our goal is. As I guess we're going to go and kill Heisenberg um, just because we can. Like, I, Heisenberg really didn't seem like it was that much of an issue for us because he really just kind of wanted to team up with us to take out Mother Miranda. But we declined his offer because he wanted to use Rose as a weapon, basically. And of course, Ethan, with Rose being his daughter, he's not down for that. Goddamn. Go. I hope I'm not supposed to stop those in a certain orientation, am I? I guess they stop on their own in the correct orientation. We're also running the kind of low on like normal ammo. Like my shotgun doesn't have a lot of ammo. Maybe these guys will give me some. Uh, I guess not. Yeah, I see one bullet. Ooh. Oh, fucking Call of Duty no scopes. I see. Are you still alive? Seriously? Gotta take these ghouls out. Damn, tanked a bullet. There you go. That guy actually took three shots to the head because um, that actually kind of proves my theory where that little mask uh, does actually give them a little bit more damage resistance to their head, which is unfortunate. I guess, like, this is it's supposed to be that way. So, oh my god, hello. Boom, didn't miss a shot, boy. Hell yeah. I like it. Right, we got one more. Ooh, I, I didn't even think about that hitting me until it hit me. <laughs> Am I supposed to? Nice. Come on, run, Ethan. Looks like there's another light somewhere projecting that light from, uh, or that glow effect on the side of that crank, but. I guess like we're trying to stop the factory from creating all of these monsters before we leave here because we we take we have all the flasks now I mean like and we've put them into the giant's chalice and practically started the ceremony I believe but yeah like mother Miranda basically um, wants to make us a part of her family what Heisenberg was telling us was that, you know, it's all a part of her plan. Like, she wanted us to come through here and kill everybody. Lady Dimitrask and uh, the Puppet Master and all that. To see if we were strong enough. It's missing a cog. To be a part of her family. So far, we've proven to be uh, quite the fucking ordeal, I'll tell you that. Because Jesus, fuck. 
the stuff we've done is st the stuff like military would never dream of doing. And we're just one man. Literally a one man army. Let's see. Puzzles, puzzles. Let's do many puzzles. I wonder if the ones that are close up to the door, if you can just hit those with your knife. Mechanical soldier, sold at. Version 1.00. Fully grown male corpse used. Removed heart and implanted... Kadoi. Why do I say Kadoi? <laughs> Kadoi. Uh, I'm just going to keep saying Kato. Removed heart and implanted Kato. Muscle stimulation via electric shock was successful. Brain dead, so no high cognitive ability. Only moves by destructive instinct, then stops. Okay. Mechanical soldier sold at version 1.01. .01. Attached head headgear to the cranium. Electrodes confirm stable brain waves. Experiment 1. Lichen fight. Was dismantled and eaten within three minutes. Issues with destructive and murderous capabilities. Version 1.10. Replace lower part of arm with drill. Not enough output for effective movement. Need live bodies, perhaps? 1.15. Implanted Kato re reactor into the chest. Output greatly increased. Experiment 2. Lichen fight. Destroyed three lichens in one minute. Good results, but issues with the reactor durability. May stop functioning if the reactor is destroyed. Yeah, we already figured that out. Cog mold. Nice. Something tells me that the mold machine that we're using is probably going to break here soon. Oh, nice. Got factory maps. Alright, so the foundry is where we're at, where the casting machine is. Um, the switch. I believe that's the door that we don't have a key to. Uh, maybe we do. Eisenberg's key. No, that's the door. Okay. Yeah, that's the door where we're trying to go. So we're trying to go into Heisenberg's quarters. Let's see. All right. Is this a new room? It is. No, it's not, actually. Just new enemies. Sounds like a drill boy. Yeah, these guys really aren't like too bad to deal with. I mean, for the most part. Once they get close, they kind of reveal their, their chest to you. Oh, fuck. Am I stuck? Like, oh. gonna be stuck in a second. Nice. So yeah, like, they're not too bad, but they can be a little bit tricky, because you kind of have to tank a hit from them, at least once, from what I've noticed, in order to, like, get sufficient damage on them. Do not know how to get back there. Perhaps we'll figure that out soon, though. Okay, so we need the cog wheel for that, which we're going to go and craft the cog now, I believe. Cog mold. That does not look like a cog. It kind of looked like a star. But I did see the teeth on the end of it, so maybe it'll, maybe it'll all come together. But yeah, this place is cool, like... If I had to choose, like, my favorite area from the game, I would have to say just, like, the village, like, the standard village is my, uh, my favorite area. But, like, oh, that could be broken. Let's see. Uh, give me you. Hell yeah. Nice little ammo. What are you? Mechanical part. Cylinder. Nice. So I would assume that we actually really needed that. So it's a good thing we noticed. Let's see. Can we put the cog in here? We can! 
I thought we were about to lose a hand again. Alright, cool. What is that? Such a disappointment. Oh, fuck. I thought we could join forces against me. that bitch Miranda. Truly, truly disappointing. I mean, if you were talking to me, I would have joined up with you, because... She took me. Took us. To be her children. She locked us away in the village. Decades of being forced to serve her. Can you even understand that human... ...creation? I'm not like my siblings. I'm nothing more than a bitch. So I need power. I need enough power to destroy her. Okay. These are the fruits of my power. The strong will destroy the weak. That's the way of the world. You should have never refused me, Ethan. What a freak. I mean, Ethan, like... I, uh, I understand that, like, you know, you're strong-willed and all that, but well, what if it comes down to it and you just can't defeat Mother Miranda, you know? Like, you've gone through all this shit, man. I mean, Heisenberg would be a great fucking help in that fight. I'm just saying, man. That's all I'm trying to tell you. Like, believe me what you will. You don't have to. Do I have any heals? I do not. So let me make some of those. But like, man, come on. I get that he's kind of an ass, but... What's that? Oh, fuck, hello. Fucker. What kind of shot was that? Boom. Come on. See, the shotgun's really helpful against these guys. Because it staggers them with basically every shot. One more and you're dead. Come on. Boom! Gonna have a bunch of mechanical hearts by the time. Oh, did he break that fucking wall? Look at that guy. What a soldier. Alright, so we've already explored this area for the most part. I do want to see if I can actually break these. I can. I don't know how to stand up, though. My. It's my one problem. Is I don't know how to fucking stand. There's a handful of money in here, man. Look at that. Two bags there, two bags there, some magnum ammo also. Need to get into that room. Oh, okay. Two and one. Come on, one more. Oh! That's what I like to see. They didn't die, though. Fortunate. Close to death, though. Are you serious? Oh, you're not dead. Now you're dead. Jesus. Crazy. You're crazy, man. You get this. More ha handgun ammo. Almost said magnum ammo. Which I'm saving my magnum ammo because I'm sure we're going to need that pretty heavily during the Heisenberg fight. Um, which hopefully we'll get to fight him in this episode. And this, you know, this place isn't going to take me too long to get through. Need to figure out kind of like a little maze through here. Like, why is that there? What purpose does that serve? What is in here? What are you be? Bunch of fucking nothing. All right. Let's 
Jesus. Oh, you got two drills, and you also don't have a thing to shoot. Ah, but you sh you're still covering. Oh, oh, it's on your back. What is that? The fuck is that nonsense? Um... Large crystal heart, okay. Let me look at my map real fast. How do I get with controls? I wanna know how I get into this little room down here. I don't even remember where it's at. That's right here. And also over there, so. I'm pretty sure these walls can be broken. I'm going to do something really stupid right here, but it's only stupid if it doesn't work. Okay, yeah, I'm a fucking dumbass. Literally. I saw one of the guys with the drill arms break one of those walls, and I was under the impression that if he could do it, I could do it too, okay? I'm so sorry. Can I push this through the fucking wall or something? Oh, wait. Let me climb, I can just jump that fucking fence. See, like... Huh. There's no way to get in there. There's no more doors that go around. Seriously, how do you get in there, then? Because, like, I want that ammo and shit. I wonder if I can wake him up and he break the wall for me. I can! Come on, break it. There we go. Yes, sir. Oh, you're kind of... You're a bad boy, huh? Come on. Nice, 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 nice. He left his boots. That was a bunch of money right there. That was what, like, 12 grand? Heavily worth it. And we got Magnum ammo, too. Alright. Well, now that I figured out how to get in that room, we can actually progress. It was gonna bother me the entire time if I just left it, so... Figured, you know, might as well try to at least get in there. Uh, let me reload this. That's not the reload button. Thank you. Yeah, I'm not super great at PC controls, guys, so... Whenever, like, you see me, like, trying to crouch instead of opening up my map or fucking when I'm in my inventory and I mess something up. I'm sorry. Yeah, see, like, right there, I tried to swap to my knife. Not super great at PC controls. We've been to this area before. This I know. I hope I know. Well, maybe we haven't been here. I feel like I have. I'm pretty sure I have. Yeah, I'm like positive. Is this door unlocked? Where, where is this? Yeah, we've been here. See ya. Don't we have a mold or something that we need to take care of? Oh, never mind. I'm just stupid. Oh, I, it's like that, that mechanical part. That's what I'm thinking of. Give me the gunpowder. I like the bullets that it can craft. Let's see how this room is laid out. That's kind of sketchy. I'm not liking it. Nope. Already knew from the fucking start, my guy. Oh, fuck. 
I got stuck in it. You fuck. Oh, I'm stuck. You fuck. Great job. Such a strong lad. Strong lad, strong lad. Alright, got another knife. Let me check, make sure there's no doors I'm missing. There's actually a door in here. But is it this door? It is. Okay. Wanted to make sure. Not missing nothing, you know. Ooh, got two with one swipe. Oh my fucking god! You again? Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh my fuck. I didn't know what that was, dude. It just scared the fuck out of me. Run! What are you doing? Okay, the door's closed. Oh, oh fuck. Run, 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 Do it! Cut my arm off! Okay, never mind. I will climb up this ladder, don't fuck with me. Duke, help me! Thanks to your consistent patronage, I've expanded my services. Great. Well then, feel free to- I need you to body slam that fucking thing. Alright, let's buy this. Congratulations. With this, you'll not worry about missing anything. Yeah, that's the point, you know. Let's see. So we can craft sniper rifle ammo with that. Don't really care too much for it. I just I want to be able to craft fucking ha like a uh, magnum ammo. That, now that's a deal. Let's see. He doesn't really have anything. To hunger. Um, I'm probably gonna sell this pistol. To be, to be honest with you. And like one thing that I did notice is that this does 180 damage. That goes up to 190. And that this does 150, but it also has 30 plus. So, 140, 170 damage. It's still a little bit weaker. So yeah, we're just going to sell that. We might sell the pump shotgun too. Just to get it out of our inventory. But for right now, let's sell all of this stuff. Got five of those. Two of these. Mechanical parts cylinder. A junk piece of steel looks like something used to be attached to it. Valuable slash combinable. Okay. Yeah, th I, that's cool. Because I remember when I picked up this antique coin from the last episode. And I was like, oh, it's just like from Resi 7. And it says, interact intricately designed coin. Looks like the one from the Baker house. Yeah. That's crazy. Let me sell that too. And you. You. Unsell Lemmy. Yeah, fuck it. We'll sell the pump too. Fuck. Fuck. God damn it. Yep. Fucked all that up, didn't I? Fucked it all to pieces. Sell that antique coin. Actually, we'll keep the antique coin. Just in case we find, like, a Resi 7 reference where we can upgrade something through that coin. Right. Where are you, Lemmy? Right there. And you. I suppose you'd call this... A farewell to arms. Yeah. You've got all the puns, don't you, fat boy? Plus, you can always buy the guns back, too. And they're, like, not really even that expensive. Like, Lemmy only costs 37 grand. So, it's it's not too, too bad that we sold it. Uh, but now it gives us the opportunity to buy one of these. The only thing is, is that, like, if I buy this, that's great and all. Like, that's fantastic. But, 
it's going to use the same fucking pistol ammo. Even. How much? Yeah, see, so this does 180. It goes up to 190 damage. And this starts out at 200 damage. Looking forward to testing it out. Which, what was that? That was the V61 custom. So we can get the gun stock for it. I hope this one. Right. Makes itself useful. Uh. Equip this. Till next we meet. Yeah. See. So like this. This is the most like the hard hitting one, right? I really wish they need to like change the way that this menu operates, dude. Why can I not just drag and click, or click and drag? Everything has to be so damn complicated. Give me a second to rearrange my me inventory because everything's scattered. Doesn't look good. I don't like it. Actually, let's keep you and you together. Let's put you over here for just a second. And then, how do you spend stuff? Space. Put you there. Then we'll put you there. Uh, and keep the ammo right there. Keep our meat stacked up over here. Actually, we'll put you right there. Alright. Let's see. Um, let me buy some ammo, too. As you wish. If he'll let me. Half the time, he has no fucking ammo for sale, and it really, like, makes me upset. Yeah, no, he doesn't. No ammo. It's crazy. Not even Duke can get a hold Please of ammo. Again. Let me go ahead and save. Uh, we're just gonna save at that number one slot. Can I go back in here? Is he gone? He's not gone, but he's done beating on that door. Maybe. Ooh, sound like he came back. How does he even fucking see me? Like, he, his whole, like, upper body is a fucking jet. Not even a. What is it called? Like a turbine? What are you laughing at? You can't even aim at him. Got a long way to go. Yes, you do, Ethan. I believe we have to get, like, way over there. And... Uh, what the... What? Oh, okay. Damn you. I don't want to grip onto the ladder. I wanted to just bypass it and jump off the edge. Sometimes if you sprint at stuff at the right angle, he'll just walk off. Instead of actually, like, you know, taking the ladder. Okay. Miranda thinks we're nothing but children. Oh, she doesn't care for us? No. She's long lost all her humanity. I must destroy her. Hey, look, man, you can get back to work if you want to. I don't give a shit about your family drama. Alright, let's see. Oh. Alright. I gotta go this way, because there's gonna be secrets down this way, because that's the way to go. Damn it. Need more ammo! I don't even think there was anything in that unless I picked it up so fast it didn't let me see. Didn't pick up any fucking handgun ammo though, that's for sure.
There was a few secrets down there, though. Let me see if I can craft some ammo. Yeah! Craft some shotgun ammo, too, just because we need it. All right, some metal scrap and gunpowder. Craft a bomb. Craft one more heal, too, because i got to use one. I'm a little bit damaged. I'm go ahead and reload this. Let's swap back to this bad boy. Reloads you. So it holds 12 and the mag. That's a, that's a weird noise. I figured. Alright. Pipe bomb time. Gunpowder, I like to see it. Nice. Give me those herbs. Now open you and you actually Nice. Lockpick. Hopefully that'll come in handy. I don't see it coming in handy in this area, but hey, a nice little crystal fragment. A large crystal. Could have missed out on those. I think I got everything in that area. Eh, it stayed red, which means I missed some stuff in there, but it's okay. I'm not going to tan back. I'm trying to stand up. Okay. Kind of glitched the game right there a little bit. Nice. One end out. Pipe bomb it out. All kinds of money in here. Is that it? Just money? No ammo? Okay. You say so. If you say so. Oh. Okay. This looks like a fucking dangerous area to be in. Is this metal not going to fucking kill me if it hits me? Sure, it probably will, actually. If I stand in the right place for the wrong amount of time. Maybe as I get higher up, it'll, like, start damaging me. Ooh. Oh my god, okay. It's Another the fucking one? Panzer from Call of Duty Zombies. What's up, guy? There's two of you. No, you have a fucking laser? Oh my god, I'm gonna get stuck so hard right here. Uh, pipe bomb, pipe bomb, pipe bomb, pipe bomb. Get away from me. That didn't do a damn thing to you. Why are you grabbing that, Ethan? Jesus. Did it just kill me? No, it didn't. That was just one hell of a fucking cutscene. Let me through! I'm fucking... Oh, I just punched him. Push the comfort show. Move! Jesus! Fuck, man. What are you doing? Get out of here. How do you close that? Fuck. Give me you. Are you dead? Oh, you are now, though. Dead now? Nope. Not quite. Equip you. Boom! Haha! 
I knew that was gonna fuck him up. Nice. But I almost died right there. A little bit, a little bit of some panic happened, but it's all right. Don't tell nobody, and won't don't start nothing. Won't be nothing. Know what I'm saying? Is that an item down there? Probably. I'm sure there's gonna be all kinds of shit that I miss up here. I suppose I could shoot you. I don't really see why I would want to though. Like, what is the purpose? You know? Oh, okay, I have to do that in order to get out of here. <laughs> to climb that ladder. Unless I want to be chopped up, which, I mean, it wouldn't be the first time. Uh-oh. Pretty sure this was just a glowing red hot a second ago, Ethan, but, you know, you go ahead and walk across it. These are some weird shaped fucking blades, man. I'm down with it, though. I'm hip with it. Those were some big boys, dude. I hope we don't fight a lot of those, because they were actually kind of difficult. Well, it wouldn't have been difficult if it was just one of them, but of course, the first time we see that enemy, they got to give two of them at the same time. Uh, this is what we just fought right here, the Soldat Jet. Attach the jetpack and head stabilizers to a Soldat. Greatly improves mobility. Experiments prove limited flight capabilities. No long distance flight, but now possible to navigate rugged terrain. Yeah, Soldat Panzer. Literally the Panzer Soldat from COD Zombies. <laughs> Attach the aluminum alloy shielding to a Soldat to protect chest, reactor, and exposed flesh. Exper experimentation proves he is invincible against regular firearms. Armor doesn't hold up against strong blasts. Further development needed. Experimentation proves he's invincible to regular firearms. Great. Well, <laughs> I don't know if that's the one we just fought or if there's another one that we're about to run into that we have to blow up. And I just wasted all of my explosives against the two that were actually still vulnerable to bullets. Oh, fuck. I thought that was going to happen. Shoot it, Ethan! Big boy's about to come. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Bitch, where? Shit. That was close. My god. You're telling me it was fucking close. Did you just see what happened? That's like, that's more than close, Ethan. That's like, holy fuck. Change your pants. This metal scrap. It didn't even fucking hit this thing. It just went off the edge. Where'd it go? Please tell me. Excuse me. Ah. Okay. Alright. Game logic, I guess. It put, like, no scratches or anything in the floor as it was going. Incredible. Oh. Can't see. What is my... Oh, nice. I was about to say, what's his goal? Don't look down, Ethan. It's not like you could see down there anyways, but don't look down. Can I keep going? No. I figured we had to climb this, but I wanted to see if there was like some treasures if I kept going all the way down. Instead of uh, going straight up the ladder. Come on. Put your back into it. There you go. Ethan, you need to, like, take a seat, my guy. You've walked, like, a hundred miles. And you'll walk 500 more. Just to be the man that walked 500 miles. Oh, alright. Peace out, guys. Soon, she'll start her ceremony with your rose. If that happens, it's all over. 
for your kid and for the whole village. But don't worry, I'll stop it. I'll use Rose to kill Miranda. <laughs> Poor Papa. You're the only one who doesn't see your kid's power. Take Rose? <laughs> I'd like to see you try. Doesn't see the kid's power. I, I don't see how anybody would have seen the kid's power. We only fucking saw the kid, you know, for what? Four minutes worth of gameplay time? And since then, she's just been a fucking phantom? Well, I mean, she's... She's been here and there and a little bit of there, you know, in flasks that we've had to con collect. Also, I love that word, flasks. Have, has anyone ever noticed that when you say the word flasks, it's not just... Uh, there's it more? goes at the end, flasks, flasks, flasks. It's so stupid. Like, why Why can nobody say that word without making that noise at the end? <laughs> The same thing goes for like ghosts, desks. Oh, what happened to the fuck? What is that happening to my hand? Ethan, you're holding out, bud. What did I, what did that do? Hello. It's doing something. Oh. Hey, it brought Duke over here. Ah. Good to see you, buddy. Oh, uh, okay. So, where was it that we went to before? You need a new haircut, my guy. It does not suit you. I want to stop smoking, too. Those things will kill you. He's getting kind of sleepy there. He's gonna make me yawn because I've seen him yawn. I saw him yawn. Mm, I don't think this is where we need to be. I think we need to be on the next level up. B3. Take me there. Alright, yeah. This is where I need to be. Go through this door. Kinds of weird ass noises. Am I going the right way? The merchant. At least we get to explore here again. Oh, okay. What are you swinging at over there, my guy? Why are you like, you're so fucking amped for no reason? Nobody's even near you. Chill their shit. My word, man, like the second we came out of this fucking door, dude, he was just over there going ham. Blowing his own back out, fucking throwing that arm around, dude. He got a little bit too excited. I'm trying to figure out, like, it's over here, I believe, that we need to be is this area. I'm pretty sure we can get there through here, though. I don't really remember. Almost certain that we can get there through here. We were just down here. Alright, so we're going in reverse order. Where we need to be. I really want to find that ball. Let me just call the elevator. There's no sense in going all the way. Wait, 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 wait. Labyrinth puzzle. Oh, okay. 
merchant engine room. Yeah, we gotta be like in here, I think. So I don't think we can go down from the top level though, can we? Huh. Yeah, no, because like the top level, the door is blocked from where that thing chased us. So I, I think technically we have to backtrack to get to where we need to be. We come through that door. Yeah, because he was over there swinging. I was hoping that that fence was gone. Magically. Face it, just trying to make sure that I'm going the right way. Yeah, see, now the foundry machine pops up. Because we're on that the correct level. Whatever this is over here, however we can get to that. Mm. There's probably like a very, very easy way to get there, and I'm just literally taking the dumbest route that I can. But hey, we'll get there one way or another eventually. If it takes too long, you know, I always hit that little jump cut. Fuck. Keep pressing crouch. Let's see. Let's go this way. That's not the way I wanted to go. Wait, have we even been this way? Yeah, we have. Oh, fuck. You scared me. They literally, they're so fucking quiet until you open the door. And they're like, oh! Come here. Come here, one more again. Come on. Look, quit swinging at the fucking wall, you dingus. There you go, dumbass. Fuck. My god. You scared the shit out of me, man. Like, if they weren't so quiet, and if you could, like, predict if they were in here, it wouldn't be that bad, but... They, they just go wild when you're in the room with them, but until then, they're just so they're just so silent, dude. They make no noise whatsoever. Alright, so, turn around, go through this door, and we should be able to go into Heisenberg's quarters, or office, or whatever the fuck it is. And Heisenberg's key. I like how he just has a mold of his key laying around. Oh. I save as much ammo as humanly possible. That lie, delay. Nice, lots of lust breasted scrap. What's in you? Mechanical part shaft. Let's see if we can combine the mechanical parts if that didn't go into this way, huh? Looks like I can complete the hammer now. Repairer. We have a hammer. Why is it allowing me to inspect it if there's nothing of value? Okay. 
That's cool, but why did why do we need that? Are we gonna give that to Heisenberg? Because I feel like that's definitely a weapon he would use. What's the point of coming in here? Just that? That's all he had. Well, I guess that makes sense why the last part to his hammer would be in his um, orders. Operating room. Okay. Boundary. Let's try to make our way to the switch then. It, I don't. I know that there was another door somewhere, but I don't remember where it was. I don't know. I feel like that. Did we ever open that? No, we did not. Give it me. What be in you? Oh, you got a little quartz. Don't know if that was worth a lockpick, but... I mean... Whatever. I don't know if I like this room. Life rifle ammo. It's great. Another lockpick. We got it back. There's so many. I got one more landmine. Come on. Whoa. Um. Let's see. What weapon should we use? I'll just use a shotgun. Come on. Yeah, yeah. One more. Come on. Crystal mechanical heart. I'll take it. Medical log. Revitalization surgery. This is my 18th attempt. Oh. The subject is Oscar the Stable Boy, 20 years old. He fell down the well while drunk. Body is in good condition. <clears throat> Chest incision complete. Now to remove the heart and vital organs and implant the control device. Excellent. Cadeau has begun adhering to the nervous Cadeau. system. It's progressing even faster than before. It seems upping the ratio of meta-albumin in the artificial blood was the right choice. Now to pass a current through the brainstem using 6,600 volts. Come on. It has to work this time. Yes. Yes! Ha 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 ha! Wonderful! My creation! At last! I'll get that bitch yet. <laughs> Ending recording. <laughs> Ending recording. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> See, like, he's, he's my favorite character, man, because he's just so fucking weird, but, like, he's evil, don't get me wrong, but, like, he, he also, I mean, he has his mind set on the right goals, I guess. Because he, he didn't want to be a part of Miranda's family, but, you know, she she kind of made him, you know, be a part of it. And he's pissed off at, about that, um, so he kind of wants his revenge. Alright, so we've been there. i go back to the casting machine, I suppose. Have we been through this red door? Yes. That's where we first got introduced by the... The guys with the glowing chests. Alright. Now, where we be going? So, Heisenberg's quarters. Go out here. In the dark. The deep, dark, deep down. You know what? Never mind. I think this is the guy with the explosives that I have no more of. 
I have flashbangs, but I don't have like actual explosive. Well, I've got some explosive rounds. Are you coming this way? You are. Yeah, this is definitely the guy. That you have to have the explosive rounds for. Oh, oh god! You good? Oh fuck. Oh fuck. I got stuck. Oh fuck. <laughs> Look who's a bitch and can't- Oh fuck! <laughs> I was gonna say, look who's a bitch and can't open doors. Come on. Come on. Come here, big boy. Get shit on! Perfect crystal mechanical heart. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. That's what I like to see. Even though I wasted my bullets. Well, not necessarily bullets, but my ammo. My explosive rounds, wasted those. They keep coming from like different places each time. Let's see. This ta it takes me to the same place. Doesn't matter which door I go through. I'll just go through this one because this is the quicker way. Oh. Why is there so many of you? I don't have this many explosives, my guy. Um. Okay, well, one explosive technically does the job. Let me go back. Uh, where did it put my... There they are. Not mean to do that. Oh, I fucking hate these guys. Oh, oh fuck. Oh, fuck. Well, uh, never mind. Let's equip that back. Come here. Stop fucking around. Standing in the hallway. You ain't got... What? Where'd he go? What? Uh... Oh! My god, he teleported. Nice. Had one bullet left. Jesus, man. I don't know how many times I have to tell you people that I do not have the ammo for this shit, man. Alright. Duke, help me. You could have fucked that guy up, man. As you wish. Appreciate that. He finally has ammo back in stock, at least some of it. Uh, uh, bitch, what? He has ammo right there. But if you go over here, it says... Huh. Never mind. I was thinking that this was ammo the entire time. I'm skilled at all sorts of. But this is just uh. And we'll do them recipes. <laughs> Look, any ammo is better than no ammo. Huh. 
fuck. Aha. Uh, let's see. If we got that, we would have the last part for our wolf's bane. The last part. Duke's purse. Go ahead and sell that. Those large crystals. The Vivianite. The yellow quartz. Three yellow quartz. Crystal mechanical hearts. We'll go ahead and sell those three. They, they only sell for five, man. That's kind of sucks. Uh, large crystal mechanical heart. We've got two of those. Two of the perfect mechanical hearts. I'll take that. Your coin. Uh, Pay me no mind. Let's see, is there anything that we can make in Duke's kitchen? Mm, almost. If we had, if we had two more fish, we could have a uh, movement speed increased, which would help a fuckload, dude. Oh my god. If we had three more meat, we could do that. Increase our health. Uh, if we had any meat at all, we could do that one. Actually, now we need poultry for that one as well. We can do that. Health slightly increases permanently. I don't know if I want to do that, though. That doesn't... Fuck it. We'll I do it. Hardly wait. Slightly increased. Just excuse me a moment. Well, don't mind if I do. Bone appetite, herbed fish. Okay. All right. So our health is slightly increased now. Health has slightly increased permanently. To okay. Think such a dish could be had in this winterbound frontier. Uh, that's kind of the wrong line for this area, don't you think, Duke? I can hardly wait. It's not really winter down here. All right, let me go ahead and save this too. All right, where are we going now? I'm trying to zoom. Oh, fuck. If you zoom out too far, where you need to go, like everything changes. So let me go back up to B1. And see about that. Wow, that's the... Does he just carry this chair around with him everywhere he goes, or does he get different chairs this time? Because I was thinking that that was the same chair from um, Castle Dimitrescu, but it looks a little bit different, really. Nice. Yeah, see, here's where that horse uh, was. Alright. I'm sure that there was one more on the second level there, but... Oh, well, it'll be okay. Kind of progress with the story. You really are a tough one. I'm tired of chit chat. Time to die. You can hear it, can't you? Someone waiting for you. Well, I don't like how it's giving me all this. Sturm. Used a cheap turboprop engine, but he's impossible to control. All he does is charge. Too much power output from the reactor? Completely invincible head-on, but the dumbass managed to chop his own damn arms off on the on the propeller. Also, issues with overheating from running for long periods of time. Conclusion, a complete failure. He's impossible to control. All he does is charge. Too much power. Okay, so all he does is charge, so we don't have to worry about any other attacks, I guess. Completely invincible head-on. Dumbass managed to chop his own arms off with the propeller. Also issues with overheating from running for long periods of time. So we basically just have to run from him. Time for this bullshit. Fuck. Out of my way. You serious? Oh my god. Okay. Motherfucker can just run through walls.
invincible head on, but the back of his jetpack is quite that not much invincible, is it? Come here, bitch. See where he chopped his own arms off. Fucking weirdo. Alright. I really want to uh, pick that mine back up. And equip it. Put it right there. Charge me. Where did I put that one? Okay, right here. Come here. I'd like to think that I'm doing damage to him. When in reality, oh, I actually am. What the fuck? Okay. Uh, I thought, you know, we didn't have to worry about any other attacks, my guy. Like, what? Shit. We don't have anything to make more explosives with. And that fire fucking... Of course it does. Oh, oh my god, okay. He did not go right there, but... I am not getting hurt by that. Like, what? That is a really cool attack, but it is terrifying, my guy. Alright, charge me. Oh, fuck. Really? You're gonna do that this close? Oh, fuck, wait. Do these fires ever go out? They're kind of like annoying. Oh, okay. I had to run out of ammo on that, so we're gonna switch to my wolf bane and just try to make some bullets count. Wow. I need to get behind him when he tries to do that, because that's like peak opportunity. Killed him. Really? Yes, really. Complex mechanical heart. Jesus, dude. I'm sorry. I got so quiet towards the end of that fight. I was just so focused on trying to kill that guy. Jesus, man. That was like 
one of the more intense fights that we've had in the game just because you have to keep dodging everything. I always feel like stuff is just going to end up one-shotting me even though like cigar um even though I'm like so beefed like I'm I'm a literal walking beefcake but I just feel like everything that I do if I mess up one time that's it, you know. Miranda is abominable. Her deceit knows no bound. We're merely a bunch of failed I already forgot how to say that. Kado. Fuck. Kado. Experiments to her. It was just lucky I had more. I was just lucky I had more affinity to stuff than that other poor smuck. Than the other poor smucks in the village. So she still calls me her son. What a joke. I'll never forgive her what she did to me. That crazy bitch has never been right in the head. She can't see a difference between experiment and family. Miranda didn't just change my body, she took my dignity. If I don't kill her, then my life will never be my own. Still, she may be crazy, but she's also powerful. She can turn into anyone using... She can turn into anyone using the Megamasite. Really? She can turn into anyone. Stuff's starting to get revealed now, perhaps. The trick is that brat, Rose. If I could access her power, then maybe. Speaking of, the kid's dad, Ethan, has a pretty interesting body himself. Maybe I could get him to help me out. I knew there was something fucking weird about us, dude. Speaking of that, the kid's dad, Ethan, has a pretty interesting body himself. There's something weird going on with us. E as Like, as Ethan, the player. There's no... Like, there's no fucking way... A normal human being can do all of the shit that Ethan's been doing. And I don't mean just like reattaching his limbs or whatever. Like, I mean, just tanking the hits that he takes. Um, having the, like, the gun abilities that we have. Like, I'm just, I'm just saying. Can I not? What? Oh. Shotgun ammo. Thank you. What was the point of this? Where do I go? Okay. I'll go straight. Let me out. Is this, is this where I was supposed to go? Uh, yeah. All right. This is another boss fight right here. Um, don't know where exactly he's going to come from this time. I called it last time. Probably from in there, considering I can see somebody standing. But, uh... Yeah. Uh, there's... There's something here. Gotta be. Something weird. Some rusted scrap. Like, I can see a silhouette in there, but he just looks like a normal soldat. I mean, he doesn't look like he's very special. Never know with this game, though. Okay. Uh... I thought that was a cinematic there for a second. Oh, okay. Goodbye. It really wasn't like a boss fight. That had to have been like where that boss fight originally was going to take place, but then they just repurposed it and kept the level. Because that was like straight boss fight city. Is there really nothing up here? Let's see. I don't see any scrap or nothing like that. Or a way to get up to the top on this catwalk up here either. But we'll continue. I have to open. Oh, uh, well. What the mind. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. You're persistent. 
but I've got a rebellion. So stay out of my way. Oh, are we gonna fight you now? Oh, Ethan's shooting as on his own. That's not me shooting at him. Oh, okay. Don't come back here. Jesus Christ. Did not see his transformation coming. Fat bastard. Damn it again. So what do we do we have to make our way all the way back up there now? Shit. I told you to leave it alone, Ethan. You are in the way. What do you care, Chris? You killed my wife, you son of a bitch! You think I killed Mia? I knew that she wasn't, wasn't there. Her. It was Miranda. What? She's a bioweapon. She changed her appearance and pretended to be Mia. Seems she also survived being shot, so now I'm here to finish the job. Bullshit! Why don't you fucking tell me right away? Because I knew you would want to be involved. And this job is hard enough without civilians getting in the way. Why us, Chris? What the hell is going on? All right, Ethan. All right. I guess I owe you an explanation. Hand me that wrench. Long story short, Miranda's fucking insane. In this village, all these monsters and freaks, this is her life's work. Some sort of crazy experiment with the mold. The mold. Like Louisiana. God damn it. All this time, I thought I could save my family. I can't escape from here. I can't do anything. That might not be true. Take a look at this. My men sent those pictures a few minutes ago. Miranda. Keep looking. Rose. Holy shit, we gotta go! Relax, my men are monitoring the situation. But they have my daughter. You don't get it, Ethan. You don't stand a chance against Miranda by yourself. <laughs> We'll stay down here and finish planting explosives. You take that elevator, I'll meet you topside. I promise you, we will get your daughter back. Together. Damn straight we will. And when I find Miranda, she's a dead woman. All right, Ethan. Then you take this and do me a favor. Try to stay under the radar. can't turn back now i fucking knew it dude from the second we read that note where it said that she can transform into any person using the into like anybody using the mutamocyte i knew that mia was never fucking mia and that she was that fucking it was mother miranda the whole fucking time dude i didn't want to say it because i didn't want to spoil anything but oh my god so all this time we were fucking mother miranda and so it actually is her daughter, I guess. It does belong to her. So wait, was M Mia always dead? Since seven, she's been dead? Or like... At what point did she swap places with Mia? 
like is that is it me and Mia's kid or is it me and Miranda's kid ah it's fucking I'm gonna have a brain hemorrhage in a second dude alright let's read this the Hound Wolf Squad, the sweep of the factory is complete. No proof of any connection with the organization. Guess this just wasn't our lucky day. I did manage to get my hands on a number of documents disclosing some of Miranda's experiments, which support our previous theories. She seems to have infected herself with the Munimocyte, which has granted her a number of abilities, including mimicry. She can control her cells and transform herself to look like anyone or anything. She disguised herself as Mia and infiltrated the Winter's home. Her objective was clearly to kidnap Rose. Okay, never mind. That that answers my question then. So, Rose is not technically Miranda's kid. So she wasn't pretending to be Mia for you know a nine month fucking debauchery. But you know her objective was clearly to ki kidnap Rose. Maybe she thought she could control Rose easier if she looked like her mom. When we attacked, it put a little damper on her plans. So she mimicked a corpse. She then revived herself in the transport truck, killed everyone on board, and took off with Rose. That makes sense as to why she was there um, in the flashbacks. Things didn't go the way she had originally planned, but in the end, she still got what she wanted. Until now. It's time to rendezvous and blow this place sky high. This might turn into a fight with Heisenberg, but I think I found something useful. He left one of his little toys laying around, and it's even made from a metal-slash-polymer composite, which he can't control. Time to turn the tables. Alpha. Chris, you've been holding out, my guy. Like, I understand that you have plans and stuff, but you could have told me this shit from the beginning. Gosh, dude. Like, come on. Alright. As much as I hate to do it to you guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is starting to escalate very quickly. I think that we're about to have, like, a final boss fight in the next episode. But this episode is already running kind of long, and I don't want to keep it running too long, because it'll take too long to upload. So, without further ado, guys, thank you so, so much. Uh, for watching the episode and hanging out with me. Don't forget to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one. But until then, peace out, stay safe, and I'll see you later. My name's Silent. See you in the next one.